Have you ever tried studying for a test, but found yourself simply reading the same page in your textbook over and over again? Have you ever wished that you had clear and effective study materials that you could use to measure and reinforce your understanding? Whether you are studying for a major test or simply trying to make sense of key concepts in your course, using visual learning study methods is a great way to help improve your studying toolkit. Visual learning study methods can come in several different forms. In this video, we're going to cover two of the most effective visual learning methods, flashcards and concept mapping. And we're going to consider how they can be used to prepare for an upcoming test or exam. You may already be familiar with flashcards as a study tool. You might have used them for studying when you were in secondary school. Flashcards work on the fundamental principle of active recall. Given a question, you are able to recall the answer. Each card will have one term or phrase on the blank side of the card. On the other side of the card, you can write down a definition, some main points, an example, or a diagram or picture to illustrate the concept. As you read through new materials in your text or handouts, note highlighted terms, ideas, and theories that are the key concepts for the subject area. Each one will become a separate flashcard. The physical act of making the cards will help move the information from short-term to long-term memory. Research indicates that writing is stronger than typing for doing this process. With that said, flashcard apps such as Anki have a spaced repetition feature that promotes recall at optimal intervals. Another effective visual learning study strategy is concept mapping. This strategy gives the learner the opportunity to represent and connect key concepts in a visual way. Creating a concept map forces you to make connections in the main ideas that you are learning. To make a concept map, follow these six easy steps. First, identify a main theme and then brainstorm for all related keywords or phrases. Second, organize the major points and rank the keywords from the most abstract and inclusive to the most concrete and specific. Third, cluster concepts that function at a similar level of abstraction and those uh, that are closely related. Fourth, arrange concepts on a map, working from the core concept to major points to significant details. Fifth, use branches arrows, and other symbols to indicate the nature of the relationship between ideas. Include detailed explanations, definitions, rules, formulae, or equations as appropriate. And six, analyze the resulting map by asking the following questions. Is the core concept accurately defined and positioned? How did the ideas fit together? Have I considered all of the related information gathered from lectures, texts, and labs? And have I noted all relevant relationships, exceptions, and conditions? In this video, we covered flashcards and concept mapping, two visual learning methods that can be used to help prepare for an upcoming test or exam. For more information about study strategies, go to kpu.ca learningaids.